What's happening, everybody? I'm Steve, and welcome back to Junk Drummer TV. And today's video is a question I get asked all the time, being a professional drum teacher. What drumstick should I use? And here's the answer. I don't know. Depends, really. The best way to go about this is if you're a beginner drummer, you've never played before, uh, I would suggest starting out with a 5A. Now, here's the thing about the the numbering system of drumsticks, they make no sense whatsoever. So a 5A is kind of like average drumstick, kind of like unity drumstick, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, then a, a 7A is like smaller than that. A 5B is a little bit bigger than that. And a 2B is bigger than all those. But then it also goes from stick to stick, 707s and 808s, Pro Marks. None of it really means anything. If you are a younger student, if you are in the 7, 8, 9, 10 range, I usually have those students get a 7A because it's a smaller stick. And if they're, uh, you know, a little older than that, I tell everybody to start with a 5A and then go from there. Now, if you are a little bit older and you've been, uh, you know, playing a little bit, and, but you don't consider yourself, you know, uh, you know high-level player, I would just suggest buying a bunch of different drumsticks. Uh, I turned 45 in May and I have probably used over the years four or five different models consistently. And as my drumming has changed and my ability has changed, so is my preference for drumstick. So this is a really difficult question. That's why I said, I don't know. Uh, I can uh, talk in the sense of what I have played over the years. I have went through, uh, I used to use the Promark Ringo Stars, um, and then I used the Jack Dejanets by Vic Firth. I used the Promark 808s for a while uh, in the Japanese oak. Uh, I had to use the Buddy Riches for a little while. Uh, and, and to let you know that this is not a ploy by a YouTuber trying to get sponsored. The drumstick that I actually use is discontinued and I'm pretty sure the company doesn't exist anymore. So like my main stick now is a uh, Regal Tip Illy B. It's the Billy Martin uh, uh, signature and these aren't made anymore. And I'm pretty sure Regal Tip <clears throat> doesn't exist anymore because you can't get their sticks anywhere and I love them so much now I think a lot of people just think that like the size of your hand uh would would affect what drumstick you prefer maybe but I have like a comically large cartoonishly large hand uh and I use pretty thin these these illy bees are thinner than a 5A. And the thing that I like about them is they're a half inch longer. You know, the standard length is uh, 16 inches and I have for years, because the Ringo Stars and the Jack DeJanets are both half inch longer than usual. I almost have to have a drumstick that is one half inch longer or more than the standard 16. So these are my everyday players, right? These are the things I play everything in, except my metal band, which is super loud. I use what used to be the Regal Tip Super 5As, uh, but they don't make those anymore. Regal Tip doesn't exist. I don't know. Anyone in the comment section, does anyone know what the hell's going on with Regal Tip? I would love to purchase your products again. But when in the metal band, because it's louder, um, I use, uh, actually maybe it was the Super 5 Nah, Super 5 A's. I don't have any of those here because they're at my practice space uh, with that band. Um, but I use a nylon tip with that, right? So when you're thinking about what drumstick should I use, just buy a bunch. And I know this is probably a way to get a lot more drumsticks sold. Um, but I, like uh, one of my adult students who's a new student, asked me last week, you know, what's, what drumstick should I get? Because I think he broke the last sticks that he had. <clears throat> and I just told him, go buy three pairs, buy three completely disparate styles, and then go from there. Uh, I play with a bounce stroke. I play very bouncy. So when I'm throwing the stick down, I want that stick to bounce right back up at me. And the Regal Tip Illy Bs that don't exist anymore, this stick is discontinued by maybe a discontinued uh, a company. 
the the shoulder is really thin down here i go through these a lot uh, i go through a lot of these when i'm playing and i actually bought the last like 42 pairs i think 42 44 pairs i bought them all over the world i bought these drumsticks from england i bought these drumsticks from a drum shop in germany because when i found out that they were discontinued i tried to get as many as possible i think i'm gonna just like once I've played all of these drumsticks and once they're all gone, I think I'm going to retire. I think it'll be the nice, the best way to go about that. Now, uh, during marching season, I'm going to do this video again about marching sticks because that's a whole different beast and a whole different ball game to deal with. So, short video today. <clears throat> again, when you ask someone what drumstick that you should use and if they give you a definitive answer, they're just bullshitting you because who knows? Whatever feels best to you by you know one st one stick from each brand and then go from there are you a bounce player are you more of a power player are you a jazz player and here's another thing just because you're a jazz player doesn't necessarily mean you need a lighter stick or a smaller stick uh if you saw the tony williams uh, signatures that zildjian made they were like a 2b they were gigantic and you know Tony Williams is, was a loud jazz player, but he wasn't playing as loud as, you know, a metal guy, right? So it's even not as easy as light playing small stick, heavy playing big stick. It's not even that easy, right? Have you ever seen the Alex Van Halen drumsticks, which I think were also made by a Regal Tip? They're like 17 and, 17 and a half inches long. They're gigantic. It's super weird. So yeah, there's, uh, there's your drum teacher uh, help for the day on trying to find drumsticks. I don't fucking know. Play a bunch of them. Just play a bunch. They all the companies make good shit. Vic Firth, Promark, Vader, uh, uh, Zildjian. Even it's all good. That nobody makes a superior, uh, an inferior drumstick. So just go and 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 buy a bunch and find which one matches you the best. Hope y'all enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time.